Here's how you land the space shuttle in 60 seconds. Firstly, you're orbiting at 17,500 miles per hour and you circle the globe every 90 minutes. So out here in space, you can't turn, but you also aren't affected by Earth's rotation. So you can just wait for your landing spot to come to you. Then you perform the deorbit burn that uses the rest of your fuel, lasting about three minutes. That's enough for you to get into Earth's atmosphere. From here, you're basically a glider. But as we get closer to the atmosphere, you pitch up to an angle of attack of 40 degrees so you don't burn up from the huge amount of air resistance. Once you're in the atmosphere, your wings start to generate lift and you risk bouncing back into space. So you bank left and right in a series of S turns to keep your descent rate. Now you get to an altitude of 20,000 feet and you're flying at 1,700 miles per hour. But here's the thing, the shuttle is not very aerodynamic. It's effectively a flying brick. So you're dropping at a rate of 10,000 feet per minute, a slope over 10 times steeper than the rate of a commercial airliner, basically the same rate as a skydiver in free fall. So when you approach the runway, you start your pre-flare maneuver at 2,000 feet, you deploy the landing gear last minute at 300 feet, and touch down at 1.6 times the speed of a commercial airliner on landing. What a journey. Welcome home from space.